Alrighty, I got some mounting hardware. Thought I'd give mounting the seat belts another go. Or seat belt, not belts, it's just a one. And there's the belt I chose that came with the chair I'm riding in right now. And sort of uh, hanging off the edge. There we go. So I think that's finally going to be big enough of a diameter to fit across my rather fat belly. And what I did was I bought a seatbelt mounting kit. It was not specific for this bike. It was mostly for cars, I think. But you know what? I thought, we'll give it a go. So using the nuts and bolts I already had, I removed the short 13 millimeter nuts and bolts from the bottom of the seat here. I left that loose. Those nuts are lock nuts. And this is actually intended to be adjustable. So I left that loose. If I feel it's just too wobbly, I'll cinch them down a little bit. But uh, there's no danger that it's going to come off or, or anything like that. So, yeah, I think that's going to work pretty well. I, uh, I painted the parts silver so they sort of match the, uh, the color of the aluminum there. But I think it turned out pretty good. I'm probably going to give it a try on Sunday. We're supposed to get rain tomorrow, so I don't think I'll be doing anything tomorrow. But I'm looking forward to seeing how much better this is. I certainly like this installation better than what I did before. Um, given my choice, what I really would have liked to have done was run the 13 millimeter bolts that hold the back of the seat on there through the uh, eye loops, eyelets on the seat belt, and just attach it directly to the seat support center on the two sides. But the eyelets are just a fraction too small. You can't get a 13 millimeter bolt through there, and I didn't want to ruin them trying to drill them out or anything. I figured it'd do more harm than good. So that's where we set with that. Tomorrow I'll give it a go. We'll see if I, uh, I fit.